welcome guys and welcome to the gaming channel and we got an unboxing to do here we got a whole bunch of goodies from gamestop we got a nintendo switch to add to the collection so got my trusty crusty knife this thing is dull as hell so we got that um let's get into it i just bought it like yesterday so let's try to open it up and i got a lot of things with it i didn't get any games with it but got the screen protector for it got the um the micro sd card so you're gonna need that for storage space and got the warranty on the um receipt so let's get into it so i got this to show you all got that first got the gamestop screen protector tempered glass so let's get, into, let's get into the Nintendo Switch. Let's get into to it. I'm trying to do this all one-handed too. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Doing it the other way. There we go. We don't need that knife anymore. All metal knife. Um, if you guys are going in to enjoy the video, go ahead and smack the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit the, hit, hit the bell notification, comment down below, all that good stuff. How do you open this thing? Take that tab out. Take that out. Take this out. Right there. Got those two slots to take out got this over here which is the little port for it which is pretty cool it has a little couple spots on it right there a couple spots you can barely tell got a couple spots on it but other than that it don't look too bad pretty clean pretty clean inside out so pretty clean um came with cords there's something right there i don't know what the hell that is Whatever it was, it just came right off. I don't know what that was. It looked like a little bit of food or something on it. I don't know. Got an HDMI cord. Got these little Joy-Con little um, sliding things for your wrist. So, got those to show. Got this right here. And then we got the Nintendo Switch screen itself. So we got that. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, trying to figure out. That says game, game card. So the game card goes in there. And right here, I guess the SD card goes in here like that. You pop it open like that. And then you put the SD card down in there. We're going to open up the SD card and put it in there. Kind of opening it up, kind of tearing it up with my teeth, kind of get trying to get it open. It's like very hard to open. Finally got it open. I like that they gave you a little case with it too, so it's pretty neat and pretty interesting. So I can keep stuff safe. There's a little SD card, or micro SD card right there. We're gonna slide it in there like so. Slide it in there like that. Wait for it to click. There we go. Close that. Kind of, what the hell? It was kind of like it was hard to close. Is that supposed to be doing that? Let me know in the comments down below if that's supposed to be doing that or not. It's like it's like off track or something. I don't know. That's weird. It's making clicking noises. That's weird. That don't sound good. And then, and then we got this thing just in case i guess if i need it um i guess if i need to put it on use this to put on a computer or something like photos and stuff but now we're going to get to the part where we turn it on so let's power it on right here it's really very very fingerprinty though by the way too and that was one of my fingerprints so 
Oh, it's saying to connect the things. Okay. Um, how do you slide this off? We're trying to. I'm trying to figure that out. How to slide this off? I'm trying to do it one-handed, but it's not going to work out too good. Yeah, I can't get this. Um, yeah, it's saying to connect the damn things, but how can you get them off? Okay, I got one off. Got one off. And then it slides on like that. Oh, I like that clicking noise. That's funny. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so you got this little button on the back that you do to, like, release it, which I didn't know. This is my first time owning a Nintendo Switch, so don't hate me. But yeah, you just click it on there like that. Awesome, now will it let me load anything? Okay. Um, we're gonna... I was gonna say we could turn down the volume on it so I don't get demonetized. Oh my god, I, I hope I don't get um, copyrighted for that. Um, we are going to hit A. I'm guessing that's what you do. The Americas. The Americas. Americas. <laughs> Enter user license agreement. Next, it's like the steps of setting it up, I guess. Internet, internet. I'm not showing you all my password. It's accept. Next, searching for networks. You just showed me it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Man, this is taking forever because I got a long password. There we go. It's waiting, it's trying to connect me. Hey, hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Where are you at? Time zone. Honolulu. <laughs> Tijuana. Mexico City. I guess I had to be on Chicago's time. I think Chicago has the same... time zone as we do later okay i can't do this with me being on the on the phone but yeah this is a nintendo switch we got it set up so far um got all that set up so far now i just need to get like games added to it i'll show more of it in another video but we ended up getting this with it too, so ended up getting that. Um, yeah. So got that. Got the little connect, little dock dock thing. The Nintendo Switch dock. We got it. the console itself. Which the console's not too scratched up. 
It is very fingerprinty from me touching it though. But yeah, that's the Nintendo Switch I got so far. So I am gonna um just I'm gonna try and hit like 15 minutes on this video, but um the rest of this junk I don't need. But um I will put the screen protector on in another video because I have to do that with both hands. That's gonna take me like both hands to do it. So but yeah, so now I got a Nintendo Switch to the collection, so pick up some of this garbage but yeah on to this 360 there i do have an update video that's coming out soon that i'm going to be do, doing an unboxing i'm going to be unboxing two 360s that i just got off uh that i just got off um what's it called i got it off goodwill.com goodwill finds or whatever and ordered two parts consoles one the disc drive on one of them the disc drive was stuck in and out or it wouldn't open or whatever and then i think one was like untested or something or one didn't work or whatever they're both pretty much parts consoles but they would have been one of them i think need a new rubber band put in it for the disc tray or something something's real easy this one i needed parts for but this one has red ring of death and it still played and everything but like this button on here don't work anymore this button to connect the controller don't work anymore and i tried taking it apart a couple of times and then this ended up happening to it to where it's all screwed up the tabs are all broken on it so it's like this it won't go back together anymore it's all like out of place and stuff so i gotta like take it back apart in order to do anything to it so it's a lot of work and it, like i said it had red ring of death it still played games though but it would constantly be loud and overheat the disc tray would get stuck that bunch of stuff so I was going to use this as a parts console to fix my other one, but this one had the AV port, which I bought one, a parts console that had the AV port, and then I had one that had the HDMI and AV port, so it had both, which was two different models or whatever. One was a Jasper and another one wasn't, but, um, um, so this one I'm going to end up using as a parts console. And I will make a video on doing an unboxing of unboxing the consoles to be adding them to the collection. So, because I don't have, I currently don't have a white 360 in the collection that actually works. This one doesn't work. So, and I'm going to use this one for parts. So, this one's missing the grill on it, missing a couple parts. And one of them does have an HDMI. One of them, what does it say? Console battery low. Okay, I'll get right on that after I end this video. But, um, yeah, the thing with this 360, the 360s I'm getting, the two that I'm getting, I paid like $10 a piece for them or something. I got them on sale, like 15% off or something, or 12% off, whatever. I paid like 11 something for the other one. And one of them has a, a hard drive added to it, so that's pretty cool. So one has a hard drive added to it, and the other one doesn't. But the two models are just like this. They're same color and everything. So I was like, damn, I have to have them. If I ever find a red 360, I'm getting it. So, and yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys are going to enjoy the video, go ahead and smack the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe. I need you all to sub sub subscribe to the channel. I always stutter when I say subscribe. You all know what to do. Um... But yeah, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool new console to the collection. I ended up using $150 or $170 of a GameStop gift card I had at Christmas time. Went ahead and used it and then got this pre-owned for like $250, $250. $250 and then got like a one-year warranty with it and a bunch of other stuff. Got that um, little micro SD card thing with it. And then the one-year warranty, the screen protector, all that stuff. I ended up paying a little bit over 300 bucks for it, which ain't bad because this was the only pre-owned Nintendo Switch they had there. So it's pretty cool to have this one. So pretty, pretty cool. I'm glad they got this now. So now, so now I can play the Nintendo Switch. So, but more videos on this coming up. But I'll see you guys next video. Love you all. Bye.